this is my last question for you, Big Dog, man. I know I said 40 minutes and we are about right right at that minute mark. Yeah. Uh, boxing is entering into its next generation, right? <laughs> so in the next generation, like some fighters that I see coming up are guys like Keyshawn Davis, Camille mm -hmm. Moulton, Andy Cruz. They got a guy out there in the UK named Ben Whitaker. And also it's this kid on uh, top rank. They had a yeah, big baby. time, big time knockout not not too long ago. He, uh, Abdullah Mason. So I, listen like, to me, that little motherfucker right there. <laughs> that little motherfucker cold right there, boy. That little motherfucker. I got the opportunity to work with uh Abdullah Mason. His like before his last fight. Um, okay. okay like dad, he, no, 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 I had to work with him. I sparred him. I sparred. Are you sparred Abdullah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, like, okay. Like, 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 like I ain't. I don't know what to tell us, but. Um, yeah, so his dad wanted him wanted him to be pushed, you know what I mean? Like, because from a skill point, from a skill level, his skill is unmatched. The only way you beat him, the only way you beat him is if you just in the, like, you just, Marcus Maidana, and you, and you and somebody, you in the shit all night. And, um, like, so his dad wanted me to just push him, so I pushed him the first time, and his dad was like, man, I loved it. I, I needed, he needed that push, he needed came back two days later we did it again came back again we did it again so that guy is special that guy's special how many rounds y'all end up going all together out of them three yeah, days yeah. we did like six rounds five rounds and like another oh, so five, yeah. probably like probably like 18 rounds so y'all got it in no we got it in yeah we got it in and i believe abdullah like 130 135 one 35 because he's pretty linky so i i don't I, I don't really see him at 130 he may be 130 well yeah that that boy he's special and he's special and he, he he held his own with a middleweight wait wait what well, like i said abdullah, i mean i know i know yeah, yeah but, so. my, but my thing is abdullah knows how to fight no matter what the weight class is okay the moment you understand how to fight you want you know how to fight you know what i mean like I could spar a light heavyweight right now. I know how to fight. You know what I mean? I know exactly what to do, how to do it. And I think he knows how to fight. And, and not only that, he's 19 years old. You know what I mean? So, you know, his, 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 his blood running fast, his, his, his mind running fast, he's moving crazy. Um, so he got a lot of things working for him, man, that the average person don't got working for him. Not only that, he's 19, but skill level is through the roof I, I talked to jay prince and told him that boy right there is the diamond in the rough that we that we needed to see like he he liked that i like him i like him last question about the sparring how would you sum it up in one word um intense okay it's intense and do you see him being like out of all those those guys that I said, Andy Cruz, Keyshawn Davis, uh, Camille Moulton. I like that. I like that Cruz dude too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like I like Cruz too. I think I think he probably the only fighter in boxing that has a, a offensive motor where he does not let up offensively. I don't see many fighters that don't let up offensively. He one of them. Mm -hmm. And Tony, I can't let you go, man. Before I, I bring it up, bro. Y'all was that close, man. Dude was waving to the fans goodbye. Hey, 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 goodbye. How was that feeling, bro? How was I know I'm, I'm looking at you right now. And I'm like, man, that, that shit, shit must hurt. Have hurt. That shit hurt. That bro, shit hurt. I, bro, I swear, I thought y'all was gonna do it because the way y'all was doing it in yeah, that first half. Me, boy, listen to me. I think the Super Bowl. I think that game. The Super Bowl would have been easier to win than that game. Uh, that's what I think. I think uh, I think Detroit was better than both of those teams. I think um, I'm telling you, man. Well, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. I think Dan Campbell, man, is kick the floor. Is nuts. I know. I just think he's nuts. I think in order to tame Lions, you gotta understand how to tame Lions. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I think Dan Campbell understands that. And I not not only do we got them lions, but he lived life on the edge with them lions. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not holding those lions in the cage. So I love Dan Campbell, man. But I think you live with it and you die with it because 
it's no way that you don't kick a field goal now nah, now one of those times and we go to overtime you know what i mean so but once again we lost to the cowboys the exact same way we lost yeah. to this team today you know what i mean so that's Dan Campbell for you. you. Got to ride with him. I'm ride with him. So, you know, and I think, and I think, I think our year is coming. Are you by chance at your new spot? I am. You, that's you, exactly you, right? You 482 Hookah Lounge Grand that's Opening. That's, that's, okay. That's, no, it, it ain't okay. a Grand Opening, but we, me, I'm telling you, I'm watching the games and the Philadelphia game on right here, the Tim Wood game over here, and I'm just chilling. Came to eat my, eat my, eat my food, and I can't eat it here. When you open it up? Uh, grand opening was about a month ago, but I've been open probably like two years before that. No, it okay. wasn't. No, it just was officially like just gotcha. generally open. Well, Tony, man, I want to thank you for your time, bro. I do appreciate it. Thank you for knowing saying get with me. Took a little while, but we finally got it done. Yeah, not, uh, not a problem, man. You got you you talking to the ghost, man. You know, I don't do interviews. I like already that, know, so. bro. I already At least know. I do it with my dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, I've been asking Tony to do an interview for, for, for about a year. You know what I'm saying? He's like, nah, not right now. But finally, we got it done. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to send it to my people over there at Fire Hike, bro. And uh, I do appreciate you, big dog. Anything uh, you want to shout out for we let you nah, go? No, not a problem, my man. Everybody just tune into the Tiny Wars going on that Super Bowl finish tomorrow. If you're in the city of Detroit, around the neighborhood, come in and stop by and see it. Uh, just shout out to Fire Hike. Shout out to. You know, just all our fighters, man. Everybody just stay locked in, man. As a fighter, just stay locked in. Well, Mr. Made it in Detroit, Mr. I Am Boxing, Mr. Tony Harrison, we appreciate it, big dog, man. Have a good rest Love of the night. Me, brother. You too. Yes, sir.